All right. Hey, everybody. Who's tuning in? Slowly trickling in. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I am in a beautiful sawmill structure, and I want to live here. I might just set up camp, set up a bed, just sleep here tonight. Got a good view of the lake. So I'm Melissa Payne, and I'm going to play you tunes for the next hour or so. So pull up a drink, start a fire, let's hang out. So glad I got bourbon And I'm not healed Well, I'm not healed You got nerve To tell me how it is You think you know But you are not here Well, you are not here When it all goes south You'll be high and dry tapping your feet. I don't have a kick drum, but I have my cowboy boot on. Jazz tap. <laughs> Ooh, I'll be high and dry. Ooh, I'll be high and dry. If you're wondering who's doing sound, it's my new pal, Nick, and he's making this tiny, amazing space sound amazing. So thank you. Thank you, Nick. Words. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play one written by my pal, Matt Mays. Um, those were some of my last gigs that I played before the, the COVID started. Um, I went on a cross-country tour playing fiddle with Matt. So I got some good playing in before all this went down. And this is one of my favorite songs that he's written. And I put it on uh, my album. I loved it so much. It's called Downtown. Please. 
downtown Laying downtown And baby feels like such a while Since your country's been in style So if you're downtown Just walking around I've been seeing too much trouble here and I Oh, not enough of you And I've been standing here for days I'm just waiting on some kind of change I've had no, no love to speak of Well, I never really understood why I'm here in the city When your hand that feels you're just walking around I've been seeing too much trouble here and I So take a trip out of the heart Where the chains and the troubles start And if you're downtown If you're downtown Well, I never Oh, I miss my big brother, Matt Mays. Big brother from another mother. It's like six foot four. I don't I think your head would even fit in this, Matt. She's cool. You should come play one of these. Bang and Bethany. Sweet. Emily Burgess is watching. Hey Em. Uh, Oakville. 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 All over. All, all over. over. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I wish you were all here. I can't wait until we can like all cram into a space like this. It's gonna be the best. And give each other hugs. I'm not even a hugger and I would hug a stranger right now. So I'm gonna play a song I wrote, um, I guess it was about three years ago. Um, I wrote it and I had it all written and it was called Country Skies. And then I, I took it to Greg Keeler who is uh, producing my album at the time. Greg plays in Blue Rodeo. And he's just a master. And he's like, well, what about September skies? Because I wasn't really sold with the country skies. It just felt a little cliche and another country song. So he came up with the September skies and we sat on his porch for about three nights after that. I think I got a little contact high. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> but... Uh, it was super fun, and this was one of my favorite songs to, to write with Greg. Oh, have I just gone crazy? Or is it just this place? I'm 
dying on my bar stool, crying into my dream. There's no need to lean on, they are just tearing away, they all got a cold shoulder. These are the nights it's hard to see through. I close my eyes from running back to you. And I trade everything to go back. I trade every city light for that. And I remember those river nights. You used to hold me with those hungry eyes under the light of September. September skies Shadows on every corner I have to look away No matter how far I run The city's just a maze I try to escape I close my eyes and I go the nights it's hard to see through. I close my eyes and running back to you. And I trade everything to go back. I trade every city light for that. And I remember those river nights. You used to hold me with your hungry eyes under the light of September. September sky. All right, insert Jimmy Boskill's solo in your heads right now. These are the nights it's hard to see through. I close my eyes and run in back to you. And I trade everything to go back. I trade every city light for that. And I remember those river nights. You used to hold me with those hungry eyes under the light of September, September sky. Oh, in September, September sky. Oh, in September, yeah, in September, yeah, in September. Oh, in September, September sky. Right. So, how are y'all doing? I gotta take a, a sangria wine. Marcus Miller right. says beautiful voice. Oh, thank Emily you. Emily Burgess says you rule, Melissa. Emily, you rule, and I can't wait for next week. Emily Burgess live here. Valerie from St. Catherine says hello. Oh, hey Val. Well, I'm gonna keep trekking along here. I hope you guys like John Prine because I'm a little obsessed with the, the late, great John Prine. And he just had a way of writing songs about the time and songs about people and a way of kind of putting people in their place with um, making it a little comedic. And I, I think that's what we, I just keep listening to his songs lately. They're just, they're political without you even knowing it. And I think he's just, taught us so much how to stand up for your own belief system and, and not care what people think. And, and that's what John Prine's writing was all about. It was just real, to the heart. I was going to play a happy one, but maybe I'll just play. This one's good, too. Play both. play this in uh, restaurants and pubs 
And then I realized the first couple of lines, people were just looking at me. It wasn't the best dinner song, but it was good. Well, I know a guy, he's got a lot to lose. He's a pretty nice fella, but a little confused. He's got muscles in his head, ain't never been used. Thinks he owns half this town. Well, he starts drinking heavy, gets a big red nose, and he beats his old lady with the rubber foes, and he takes her out for dinner, buys her new clothes. It's the way the world goes around. Well, that's the way that the world goes round. You're up one day, and the next you're down. It's a happen in your water. You think you're gonna drown. That's the way that the world goes around. All right, next verse. Let's see if I can remember it. While I was sitting in the bathtub, counting my toes when the radiator broke, in the ice all froze. I was sitting there naked, without my clothes, naked in the eyes of a clown. Well, I was crying up ice cubes, hoping I'd croak when the sun came through. No, in the wind, the ice all broke. Well, I stood up and laughed, thought it was a joke. That's the way that the world goes around. Well, that's the way that the world goes round. You're up one day, and the next you're down. It's a happen in your water, you think you're gonna drown. That's the way that the world goes around. Almost got all of them. Well, that's the way that the world goes round. You're up one day, and the next you're down. It's happening into your water. You think you're gonna drown. And that's the way that the world goes around. That's the way that the world goes round. John Prime. One of the best if not the best, in my opinion. All right, keep plugging away here. My partner had a request. Um, she's out in Apsley. I don't know if they're able to tune in. I don't actually know if there's any service where, where she is right now. But this one's for you, Katie. Um, we live in Peterborough, Ontario, but um, I just turned my van. I get the touring itch quite often and I feel like I've been at a standstill so I turned my van into a minivan camper so I can sleep in it pull it up to my mom and dad's house social distancing check bed check pillow dogs check so uh, after this I'm going to head out to Apsley and sleep in the van again and wake up by a creek this is the dream though frig the van I want one of these. And if my dad is watching, come on, Steve, pull the trigger. How much fun would the kids have with this? Think about your grandkids. <laughs> Putting the guilt into my father. Buy a bunkie for the grandkids that I can sleep in all the time. This song's about going on a trip with someone you love be just up the road. Well, take my heart, take my heart, take my heart and hold it tight. And take my hand, take my hand, take my hand and love me right. I don't care what they say, I don't care what they do. Ain't nobody gonna make me stop or love it. So take my heart and take it down And take my soul and let it fly Let it fly, let it fly a little higher, babe Oh, come on, baby, come on, baby I don't want to take a bus Hop a train, take a trip in our minivan, the two of us I don't care where we go I don't care what we see Well, I don't care as long as I got you with me So take my heart And take it down And take
Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel me needing you? Heal my soul, my soul. Yes, it's singing too. Can you hear it's tune? My heart beats for you. Can't nobody tell my feelings so in love so soon. So take Take it down, take it down, take it down a little deep. Take my soul and let it fly, let it fly, let it fly down higher, babe. All right. Every time I'm playing like the solo part, I just hear the guitar player, so. I can't wait to hear guys like you just sit beside me, Nick, and like jam out. We might have something special planned. Just saying, stick around to the end. Cause yeah, I just miss playing with people so bad. I get sick of looking and hearing <laughs> myself. Thank you for hearing and looking at me, but it's really nice to play with other musicians and even being around them. So we might have something planned for you. Well, I'm going to write, or I mean, write, yes, I'm going to write a song right now. I have a way with words, especially during these live streams. Words are hard. Maybe a sip will help. <laughs> so I've been doing this for about eight years. And I would say I'm still the same level of awkward as I was when I started. I just have this awkward tendency just to mumble and blurb and ramble about stuff. But now I just kind of own it. I know that I'm awkward. So I hope you guys enjoy awkward because I like awkward. <laughs> own your awkward. You'll get the words right one day. What song was I playing? I'm lost. Oh, yes. Okay. Now I'm talking to myself. Thanks for being here, Nick. <laughs> Uh, I wrote this song three years ago, and at the time, my family um, was going through something that we never thought we would ever have to experience or, or live through. Um, we got the call that my, my little niece, Eliza, had leukemia, and she was up at Sick Kids Hospital. And it was just um, one of those things you never expect to hear that it's going to happen to someone you know, especially a little child. She was only two and a half, going on three at the time. Um, but little Liza, she was just the, a little spark. She just is such a little wildfire and just running through her fields constantly. And I can happily say that she has beat cancer and it's, it's credited to sick kids and our amazing healthcare that we're lucky enough to have so this one goes out to all the sick kids staff, all the nursing staff, and all the doctors, all the heroes that have been working so hard during this step. I couldn't imagine being a family with a, a sick child at this, this point in time. Uh, we had a hard enough time being distanced from Peterborough to Toronto. So I think it's only one family member is allowed to be with the child right now. So my heart goes out to you guys. So. Just keep trucking on. This goes out to you. And my little Liza. I should mention that we have a, a page set up for donations. It was two years ago and it hit, I think it hit $21,000 in all funds for this song went towards Sick Kids. So we were really proud of it. So you can check it out online. It's called Strong Heart. And even if you can't donate, just pass it around to your friends and gain awareness for these amazing kids, families. Well, I heard the doctor speaking Watch the words and left his lips well, I thought I must be dreaming Cause no life could be like this 
Just last week we watched her playing. Yeah, she was running through our fields. Now she's tangled up in tubes and screaming, saying, Get me out of here. And all my mother, tell me, tell me, please. Well, she's always looking up And we're fighting our tears down And every time we leave that room Our will crumbles to the ground And oh, my mother Hold me, help me, please Oh, I does every strong heart have to bleed And all my mother, tell me, tell me, please. Oh, I deserve a strong heart. I do bleed this way. Oh, not this way. Well, the things that used to seem so hard, they don't matter to us now. Every tear of joy, every beating heart, it's a truth that teaches us how to be strong. all right well thank you guys for listening this whole time and thank you nick for making me sound great i'm not gonna stop thanking you and huge shout out to chris and sawmill structures dad if you're watching this have you bought have you ordered your structure yet for your grandkids Get on it. Or someone, even just someone I know, just order one of these and I, can, I will come and play. If it's close to the area, I'll drive up here and play. I'll, yeah, it'll just be like the Bunky Tour. Be awesome. Um, I am going to play a Neil Young song. Try it out. Um, so we'll meet me close to Ennis Moore, where I'm from. Uh, Neil came to town and decided to put on a show in the old um, Omimi Hall, which was so cool. It's kind of like a miniature Massey Hall. It was built by the same guy, and it's just sitting there. I knew, so Neil came to town and put on a show there, and it was, I somehow got invited, and I'm good friends with uh, Neil's brother, Bob, so basically me and Neil are best friends. We shook hands one time, so we're best friends now. That counts, right? But it was amazing. It was one of the highlights of my life. You get to watch your hero in a space like that, in a space where he grew up. It was, it was surreal. So this goes out to Bob. Uh, what capo do I put it on? I'll put it up here, just to be safe. Chrome and 
and hearts that's good <laughs> it is a, a thing you get into a song and you're like okay it's kind of like the quietest pub gig you could ever imagine or be in the background while people are eating their food and then one guy's like goes back so it's kind of like that like I've, I've been here before <laughs> only I feel very appreciated tonight in this amazing place that Chris has built so I feel appreciated. I don't feel like I'm sitting in a bar room <laughs> where that guy's eating his food. Those are good practice nights, though. Damn good, because no one, no one's listening sometimes. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep plugging along. What time are we at there, Nick? Eight thirty-five. Eight thirty-five. Okay, I have a sense of time now. Elisa, Elisa says hi, and she said. <laughs> it could be my niece talking. Eliza? Yeah, so oh, Elisa. Eliza. So Eliza is my niece. Okay, Eliza says hi. Oh. <laughs> Eliza, are you heckling me at home? You little stinker? You should be in bed. <laughs> All right, well, I want you to sing for me, Eliza, if you're home. You better be belting it out. sing that part. So if you're at home, tag Sawmill Structures, tag me, and you gotta sing that part. And send it to us. And you'll be like Instagram famous right away. Send us your videos. <laughs> I hope it's your grandma doing that. You keep on bringing me back, baby. That's what my mom sounds like. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm just a sinner and you're pretty much a saint. Dread me through a hot time and you never make me wait. So bring me back. Keep on bringing me back, baby. You keep on bringing me back, baby. Here we go. You keep on bringing me back. 
keep on bringing me bad baby you keep on bringing me bad baby Keep on bringing me back, baby. Bring me back, bring me back home, baby. All right, if you guys were singing at home, we want to see it. Please send it. <laughs> All right. Well, I came out with a new album on March 6th, and I was so lucky. The next day I did my album release at home at the Market Hall Theater, and I didn't know it at the time, but it was the last show that I would play with my full band and in a full room of people. Um, my hometown came out and we sold it out. So it was just an unbelievable night with friends and family. And then the next week I was set to go on tour and play some release shows in Toronto and around Ontario and then head to the East Coast. And like many places, um, they started closing and we just made the call just Having someone in your life that's been immune compromised in the past, you just know the severity of it and how quickly things can spread. With Eliza, when she was sick, she could catch a cold and end up in the hospital for a week. So it really gave us an understanding of how serious um, immune compromised people are. So we made the call early on to cancel the tour. And then shortly after, it just got a lot more serious. And I don't think... A lot of us were ready for it at the time, but if you're like me, we've just been kind of floating on through it, and I've just been trying to find ways to stay creative and play and sing and still feel connected to my family. So I think we're, we're through the worst part, knock on any wood in here, but um, it feels like, yeah, we're going to be getting close as long as we're safe and we're conscious of those immune compromised people. We're going to get through. But uh, yeah, back to the album I released. It was called Darker Than Your Dark. And this is the title track. It's a very cheerful song. It's pretty sad, but it got me through some hard times. And even playing this song on my online shows, I think just sometimes you gotta go dark. You can't just pretend everything's hunky-dory all the time. And Sometimes I gotta let myself, um, yeah, feel things that I don't want to. So this one's called Darker Than Your Dark. Tommy, only if 
fear Fed me love with my own shame Well, I'm darker than you know And I'm deeper than your pain I close every door You guys all happy now? Feeling, feeling pumped? <laughs> all right, we gotta pick it up from there. Hmm. What do I have as a pick? Pick up. So I think I have like three more tunes, and um, after this one, we might have a special, special, special guest. I don't know who it could be in this, in this room. Bruno, though. What time are we at there, Nick? Quarter two. Quarter two. Okay. So I might have two of my own and then the special, special treat. I'm going to try one of my own and then I'm going to try a, a one that I've been playing on fiddle for years and we'll see if I can remember the, the chords. about standing up for yourself. I think a lot of us are feeling down and out, but um, I've just been trying to educate myself as much as possible these past couple weeks with um, Black Lives Matter. And I'm coming to some huge realizations that I think we're all, we're all guilty of systematic racism, whether we want to believe it or not. Um, the indigenous people in, in Canada and the black lives, I think we gotta really all come together and it's amazing. I feel like the world is going through some healing times. It might feel like it's falling apart, but when everyone's coming together like this, you can see it healing. And we're just getting educated for the first time in a long time. So this goes out to them in um, not letting people break you down. 